4 p.m. Coffee Blues. Imagine for a moment, it's 4 p.m. and your boss has just come over to your office <coughs> and asked you to review this proposal for tomorrow's 9 a.m. management meeting. I've already had a long day. I'm very tired. <coughs> I need a cup of coffee so I can get through the next hour and complete my assignment. Unfortunately, the cafeteria is closed. All that's available are those vending machines down the hall that serve the worst tasting coffee in the <laughs> I look out the window. Cold and it's raining. And I don't feel like going out to Starbucks for coffee. <coughs> Besides, I know if I go out there, I'm never coming back. How many of you have ever faced this situation? Well, I've faced this situation on a number of occasions, and I believe I've come up with a solution to beat the 4 p.m. coffee blues. My solution is the French coffee press. <laughs> Some of you may have seen this contraption before, and you may wonder why you would consider using this to make coffee, and why you would consider taking this to the office to make coffee. Well, there are several good reasons why the coffee press is an excellent tool for the office. Number one, the coffee press can make small amounts of coffee, say one to two cups, which can be a challenge for a typical electric coffee maker. The coffee press can make coffee in four minutes. Again, an electric coffee maker will typically take longer than that. The coffee press requires no electricity. This is a big plus as many offices do not allow you to have an electric coffee maker at your desk. Finally, the coffee press makes an outstanding cup of coffee that is far superior than anything you'll find in a vending machine. Mm. How many would be interested to learn how to use a coffee press? Absolutely. It turns out it is amazingly simple. First, you add coffee. <laughs> I typically add two tablespoons of coffee per cup. Now it's important to use coarsely ground coffee as the filter on a coffee press is much coarser than a typical paper filter. Second, add water. Fortunately, most offices have hot water readily available, be it a microwave or a hot water dispensing machine. So add hot water. Now be sure to store the hot water and the coffee to, so the coffee grounds can release all their wonderful flavor. Third, place the lid back on the coffee press. Be sure that the strainer is facing the spout so you'll be able to pour the coffee. <laughs> Finally, let the coffee steep for four minutes. Then, slowly Push the plunger down to the bottom of the press. This action separates the coffee grounds from the brew. Voila! Fantastic coffee in four minutes. I happen to find that this coffee is much more flavorful because all the essential oils are still in the brew. A paper filter tends to 
filter out this element of the coffee. I also like to grind the coffee prior to preparation. This only takes a minute, but the freshness is so incredible, you'll imagine you're in Starbucks and not at the office. The coffee press, this is my ticket to beating the 4 p.m. coffee blues. Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster.